My research has shown that our vulnerability to climate change has really been, it's not just about the impacts of um, climate, such as increasing temperatures, changing rainfall um, patterns, or rising sea levels. It's really about how we organize society and how we culturally relate to um, processes of change. And I think this is really important because when we start to see climate change as just an environmental issue, um, a lot of our solutions are based just on very technical and behavioral changes. And when we look at it as a social and a cultural issue, we start to think about how we organize society, how we relate, um, you know, what are our beliefs, our values, our worldviews, and how do they influence what we do and how we respond to challenges that, that um, really are, you know, risks to our environmental, social, and, um, and human um, rights. Double exposure is a metaphor that um, I developed along with Dr. Robin Lyshenko to, um, to express the overlapping impacts of globalization and climate change. In the same way that in photography, double exposure refers to two images that are overlain and create kind of a blurry in, um, image. Um, we're interested in how globalization processes create uneven outcomes, in other words, winners and losers, and that these are not random, but these are impacted by um, social processes. And climate change also creates uneven impacts and winners and losers, and it's not random how these two processes overlap and overlay each other. And we're interested in how both the processes, the outcome, and the responses create um, what you know the winners and losers but also they create feedbacks that can accelerate or um, diminish the processes themselves and I think the important part of double exposure is to start to recognize that we are always responding to multiple stressors and that we have to take a, um, a wider perspective on issues like climate change The three spheres of transformation is a, a framework or um, heuristic for looking at transformations to sustainability in an integrative and holistic manner to help us think about like what is the best way that we can adapt to the challenges that we're facing right now. Um, we distinguish in the three spheres between the practical sphere, the political sphere, and the personal sphere, with the practical sphere referring to the um, the um, technical and behavioral changes which are very important yet nonetheless they're influenced by the political sphere of the systems and the structures that shape our capacity to respond and both of these spheres are influenced by the personal um, our beliefs our values and our worldviews both individually and collectively and um, in terms of adaptation you know I think the challenge for us collectively as a society is to really adapt to the very idea that we are transforming global systems and that we can actually influence that future and shape it in the political sphere. So it's very much about individual agency, collective agency, and political agency to realize and respond to th collective threats to our human security. I think the, the challenges are enormous right now and we're living in the decade that really matters. And um, one of the challenges is that we're actually addressing the problem from such a very narrow perspective when what we need is a broader and a deeper approach to climate change, bringing in the social and human dimensions with the biophysical um, aspects of it. And um, what, this, what I'm saying really is that this is, you know, we need to treat this as a relationship problem, how we relate to nature, how we relate to society, how we relate to each other, and how we relate to the future. And when we start to look at it from this wider and deeper perspective, we see that there are so many more solutions to climate change um, that, uh, that, that address risk and vulnerability in a way that um, allows us to develop along sustainable and climate resilient trajectories.
so I'm very hopeful um, and optimistic because about the future because we know from science that there are many, many solutions to climate change and, um, and people are beginning to connect the dots and seeing that we can reconnect the dots and actually um, move along a more sustainable pathway that is um, also equitable and can contribute to a thriving world.